Hi, I'm Lucas with Archery Talk, and today we're going to do some speed testing with our four target bows for the 2017 target bow shootout. We've got two different arrows we're using. We've got a Goal Tip Series 22 Pro that weighs about 377, 378 grains. And we've also got a Goal Tip uh, Platinum Pierce that weighs about 350 grains. We'll run each of these arrows through all four bows, and each bow is set up uh, exactly the same as 29 inches of draw length and 60 pounds of draw weight. So we'll uh, pick up the first one and see what the numbers are. The first one we're going to test out is the Hoyt Prevail 40 with the X3 cam. This bow has an IBO rating of 312 feet per second. It's actually the slowest of all the Prevail options, but uh, I wanted to try the 40 inch bow and the X3 cam I thought a little softer and maybe a little easier for me to play with. Let's see what we can do. So first up is the Gold Tip Series 22, and that's weighing at about 377 and a half grains. First arrow came at 273 feet per second. And 271 feet per second. and 272 feet per second. Next up are the Gold Tip Kinetic Platinum Pierce, which are about 350 grains in total weight. Two hundred and eighty-four feet per second. Two hundred and eighty-four feet per second also. And 277 feet per second. Okay. Next up is the Bowtech Fanatic 3.0 with the SD cam. I'm shooting a 29 inch draw length and that's the absolute max on the SD cam. Uh, I, have, I have right now I'm using the performance setting and 65% let off. It's the one of all the, of, I tried every possible combination of this bow I could. This is the one that feels the best to me. So that's the one we're going to test today. Once again we'll start with the Series 22 weighing at about 377 and a half grains. Two hundred and eighty nine feet per second, two hundred and eighty eight feet per second. and 282 feet per second. Next, we'll bring out the Kinetic Platinum Pierce, and those are about 350 grains total weight. Two hundred ninety-nine feet per second. I didn't think I was going to get this bow up towards 300. That's a surprise. Two ninety six feet per second, two ninety eight feet per second. Up third is the Prime STX thirty nine V two. This bow has an IBO rating of three hundred and twenty three feet per second. 
And like all the other ones, it's set up at about 29 inches of draw length. Uh, it's got a cable stop peg here uh, that I have set a little bit far back so I can get a touch more value out of this bow. And let's see what kind of speeds it can do. First up once again is the Series 22. Two hundred and seventy four feet per second. Two hundred and seventy seven feet per second. Let's see. Two hundred and seventy-eight feet per second. All right. Next up are the Kinetic Platinum Pierce. Two hundred and eighty-five feet per second. Two hundred eighty six feet per second. Two hundred eighty eight feet per second. The fourth and final bow we'll be testing is the Matthews TRX seven. This has got the seven inch brace height. It's the faster of the two Matthews options. This one has an IVO rated speed of three hundred and thirty two feet per second. The fastest of any of the four bows here. First up is the Series 22s. 290 feet per second. 290 feet per second also, duplicate. 291 feet per second. All right, now for the Kinetic Pierce 400s. 298 feet per second. 301 feet per second. and 301 feet per second. When it comes to target bows, at least for me, speed isn't really priority number one. But if you're trying to chase kind of 295 feet a second in an ASA 3D or anything like that, most of these bows can do that pretty easily, even at 60 pounds. The Matthews was the clear winner, averaging 300 feet a second with the 350 grain kinetic Pierce arrow. Uh, really impressive for a 60 pound bow, just at 29 inches of draw length. Uh, the Bowtech Fanatic actually was the second fastest with a 298 feet a second speed out of that same arrow. The Prime finished third at 286 feet per second with that same 350 grain arrow. I think the Prime would pick up a little bit more speed if I would have given myself a little less valley and a little more holding weight and probably would have picked up four or five feet a second. The Hoyt Prevail 40 with the X3 cam finished with an average of 282 feet per second with that same arrow. That's about what you'd expect from a bow with a 312 foot per second IBO. 
but you can get a lot more speed out of the Hoyt if you chose the SVX cam or went down to the 37 inch. Now that we have the speed comparisons out of the way, stay tuned for individual reviews of each of the four bows we tested here, followed by one great big target bow shootout for 2017.